Hey everybody, I'm Ryan, this is Will to Make, and today I'm going to show you how I built these raised garden beds. So I started off with some cedar pickets from Home Depot. I needed four boards all cut the same length for two sides, so I lined them up and cut them all at once. I made sure to keep them all up against the fence in order to get a square cut. Now I needed four shorter boards all the same length so I lined up two pickets and made my cuts. I next cut six pieces out of these cedar strips, also from Home Depot. These are what will attach all my pickets together. I then assembled all my sides, starting with the shorter sides. I laid the boards next to each other, lined them up, and then with one of the cedar strips I applied a little glue and lined it up with the edges of my pickets and screwed them together. I then flipped it around and did the same thing on the other side. This was then repeated a second time for the other short side of the garden bed. For the two long sides, I laid them next to each other and marked out the middle of the boards. I applied some glue to my cedar strip, lined it up in the center of my boards, and screwed two screws in. Then I flipped it around and screwed four more screws in the front. Once my four sides were complete, I could join them together by applying some glue to the edge and driving in some screws. I attached the two long sides to one short side first, then flipped it around and slid the other short side in between the two long sides and screwed it in. Now all the sides were complete, but now I needed a border on top to make the boxes look a little nicer. So I cut two pickets down into three strips. Two of these strips were cut for the long sides so they were cut together. The third strip was then cut down to get my border's two shorter sides. I first laid a longer side down and made sure the two sides had an even overhang then put one screw in the middle. Once that screw was in, I could go to the sides, ensure there was a half inch overhang on the front, and then screw it down. I then attached the two shorter sides by first lining it up with the side we just attached and screwing it down, then again ensuring a half inch overhang screwed the other side down. For the last piece of the border, I could line it up with the rest of the border and screw down the sides, then ensure I had my half inch overhang in the middle and screw it down. One box was done, so I made three more and then laid them down in their final locations. Using a shovel, I went around and marked each box. I then moved the box out of the way and scraped a layer of grass from where the box will be sitting. This also helps level the ground for the box to sit on.
We wanted to create an archway between these two front boxes, so I first measured out this wire fencing and marked it on the boxes where it would sit. I then screwed in these four spacer pieces on the front two boxes. Next, I attached these longer supports to those spacers, making sure to keep them level. Now I needed to wrestle with the wire fence to get it into position. Once I got it into position, I could take another support piece and sandwich the wire fence in between it and the other support piece and screw them together. I did both sides on one box then stretched the wire fence over to the other side. I screwed this side down as well, making sure to leave enough wire fence on top to create our archway. The arch ended up being a little flimsy, so I'll have to figure something out later in order to stiffen it up, but it works for now. I can now fill all the boxes in with soil. We ended up using a soil compost mix. I started by shoveling the soil into the boxes, but figured that would take way too long, so I started dumping wheelbarrow fulls in. Once filled, all our plants that my wife had been growing in the house for weeks could be planted. We ended up planting tons of fruits and vegetables as well as a butterfly garden with all types of flowers. So here they are. I think they turned out great and they were very simple to build and pretty cheap too since we use those cedar pickets. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.